Now, especially with the way last episode ended with Kita coming out for Inarizaki and just kind of leaving it ominous like that, this episode being called Later could be Kita on Inarizaki, could be Daichi on Karasuno, it could be anyone. Like, I literally have no idea. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 4, Episode 20. We are getting so close to the finale and to Season 5. I am so excited to find out what happens with this match, with the rest of Nationals, with everything. So, like, I, I kind of want to talk about it, but it's, we're just into the second set. Well, Karasuno won the first set. You know, we got... We're targeting Ishinoya. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just excited to find out what happens in this episode. I say we not waste any more time. I just accidentally hit my desk. We got to jump into it, guys. Remember though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description as always for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, trust me, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much for that. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know exactly what I'm posting over here on the Dapper channel. Follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. And then don't forget, we do have a PO box, guys. If you guys ever want to send me anything, fan mail art anything like that everything and anything's appreciated guys appreciate you guys let's hop into this haiku season four episode 20 called leaders let's do it oh he's switching out for a run oh and he is the captain i didn't realize he was the captain episode 20 leader oh flashback He seems very direct, blunt, you know. The sound arguments are like a punch to the gun. They're very sound, you know, exactly. And he says there's always someone watching, you know, the gods, so. Maybe it makes him act a certain way, even when no one's watching him. I, I like it. Good strategy from him. That was a good one-touch on their part, but... This man, what the hell? Chance ball, let's put this in our favor, please. But like, I cannot believe my man Keita just saved that. Oh. This man will not let this ball touch the ground. There are definitely players like that. Not the star, not the flashiest, but he makes such a difference. That's the perfect amount of confidence you have to where you're not cocky but you believe in yourself. Really? He's over here filing his nails. True. It should just be another day playing. Man. I get why they say his words are precise and a punch to the gut. Logically, that's so sound and makes so much sense, but that's just not the way human emotions work. And I guess being sculpted like that from childhood, like his, I'm assuming, grandma, mother was like, Every, someone's always watching, so uh, that would definitely lessen the nervousness as well. Doing everything in in the in the thinking, in the sense that someone's always watching you, judging you, and then being, I guess that would lead to self confidence, if anything, you know. Like I don't know, man. <laughs> this is already so much more complicated than I thought, and I love it. I love when they go in depth on character personalities like this. And there's no messing with him mentally, because he is... I would agree, better than average. He doesn't physically or technically stand out, but... Absolutely. He's... Okay, that's where that's where we'll say. He's not the biggest roller coaster where he has the craziest ups and some of the craziest downs, but he's the most consistent guy. I love players like that. There are players that are nasty, but also are inconsistent. He is just... Anything you see him do in practice, you know he has the confidence and the ability to be able to pull that off. And he will pull that off in the game. The best praise you, should, you could give is to not be surprised. He just does what he does, and you fucking love it. 
Oh, <laughs> warm lemon water, pickled plums. I didn't get him all this stuff to help him with his sickness. I know that, that is very kind. Very important. Self care, cleanliness, hygiene. Your greetings, Itadakimas. I really like Kita so far. I really like him. I can't lie. Hey, man. You have a ritual? I respect it. Look at him. Grandma's always set you up on the right path, man. Humans are very patternistic beings, you know? I understand it. He got his first jersey. He didn't even get one in middle school. Gotta be interesting feeling. I wonder what's going on in his mind. Aww. This probably feels great, but he never lets out any sort of emotion. Yeah. When guys like Kita finally do let out their emotions, it feels so cathartic, you know? That defines you. More than oh, that's an interesting way of looking at it. A byproduct of the of the hard work you've put in, the daily processes and your routine. Also true for Moran. <laughs> Just looking out for his boy. Everyone thinks he's the robot. It's so funny. Why is Inarizaki such a cool fucking school and team? Why are they so fucking swaggy? He does it all for himself, which I, I always appreciate. I love. But he's easily, yeah, easily the most intimidating player on your team. He's always first for morning practice. He's always ahead in the morning, the morning runs. Always passes all of his grades, of course. <laughs> True. <laughs> He's so analytical as well. He's just like Kenmo when it comes to that for me. I love socially analytical people. What is Suna gonna do? Oh my god, the way he does that is nasty. Just. Bah! Bah! Oh my god, nine point set difference. That's so rough. Even though we won the first set, losing the second set with that much of a momentum lead for the other squad is like worse. Like, ugh. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna go somewhere with this. And it's gonna be amazing. But that was truly horrible pep talk. <laughs> he can't speak for Nishinoya, because he can only confidently speak for himself. But he'll do anything in his power to get that over. And Nishinoya respects that. <laughs> And then Kageyama just being normal Kageyama. <laughs> they were having a wholesome moment just a second ago. Oh. He's so nasty. Those jump floaters. So nasty. I love the music, the saxophone they play. And he's not going to be able to get that. He's going to have to dive forward. Yep. Great receive, my man. Yeah. You never hear him talking like that. What? This is Asahi. He calls it every time. Yes, okay. They knocked that out. I couldn't tell. 
my boy. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. They had to submit it. It's for the setter to start off in the back row. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, I kind of like that when it comes. Like, that's another strategy, like I said, I don't even think about. They definitely are a trial and error type team, 100%. Typical Knights, stationary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that needs to be my wallpaper, <laughs> not throwing two machine guns. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's a way to differentiate the third set between the other ones. And also great commentary from my favorite couple in the stands. Ooh, yes sir. Great plans. Weirdo quick killer. <laughs> I love the nickname. <laughs> and he slays. That was a great receive. Right back up. Ooh, that was a great fucking set from Osamu. Over to Iran. Ooh, my God, was that a block. Number nine, the goat. Exactly the person we wanted to shut down, too. And now we actually have the lead? Hell yeah. This set three is going to be nuts. I... <laughs> right? Some... Oh, uh... <laughs> Some blockers are just insane. Just absolutely insane. Really? Why is Kageyama so much scarier? That's so crazy. I like how when Suna was uh, just talking about blockers and how amazing they he's seen them at nationals. We saw a picture of Tendo in there, you know, with his little ge the guest monster, bro. Yeah, throwback scene to him, but fantastic episode all around. Oh my lord. I didn't really write down anything except for Gin's name. Um, the one who uh, Kita was talking about for a second there, but this entire episode being about Kita, I just loved so much. I love his personality and his his complexities and his his character traits you know like i can totally understand adults saying enjoy the process the results aren't everything i can totally understand kids and young people saying no the results are everything that matters but i can also understand kita's point of view whereas the results are just a byproduct of the process so in, in, put thorough effort and make the process you know go through like I, I, you guys know what i'm trying to say stick with it go give it your all and then your results will henceforth be there you know like he takes everything i don't want to say seriously but he really does you know academics cleaning hygiene eating everything volleyball anything he personally has a stake in anything that matters to him and then it also does lead to his ultimate happiness but he it's just he's so complicated and interesting I, I really enjoyed when he got his jersey because he didn't have that in middle school and him crying about that you know it's super big and touching and iran being like you know you don't have to do this to be happy you know just be happy you know and it's like it's just so so interesting i think i would really like to have a friend like kita because <laughs> he's super blunt and direct but he you know he always is kind considerate looks out for the best of it looks out for your best interests like when uh, Atsumu was sick and was still practicing, was like, no, man, come on, take care of yourself. Go home. And he said it all mean, and then he get some pickled plums and some lemon water and stuff. He's such a good dude. But overall, fantastic episode. Going into set three, I am so excited. I would not be surprised if set three lasted at least the next three or four episodes. Like maybe the last episode is setting us up for the next match or, or, or stage three or something. All I know is that this 
particular match and nationals this whole season has just been a banger so far i'm loving every bit of it it was great seeing some new characters man if you guys enjoyed check out early access on patreon links are always there for you we might have this might have the show finished the finale might be up there you never know other than that Dapper squad have a great day thank you so much peace out